Okay, welcome back. Uh, this is Mr. Dahlstrom's on number two of worksheet number two. We just did the table pulley problem here. Uh, we're now going to look at a pulley problem. It's not our first pulley problem, but it is our first pulley problem. We have a mass now suspended from another mass here. <coughs> so like usual, the first thing we need to figure out is we need to figure out which way this pulley system is going to rotate. Even though four is more massive than each of these individually, the combined mass is five over here, and five is more than four, so that is going to go down. Where up here, the combined mass down was four, or over here was four, it was just three, so four would be three. So we need to look not just at individual masses, but the combined. So five is greater than four, so both of these are going down, so they would have a negative acceleration. Okay, so that means that this one is going up, and it has a positive acceleration. <coughs> Right. Next thing, we'll draw our little boxes to isolate our problems, or our masses. Okay. It doesn't matter which one we look at first. Um, we'll go ahead and look here at. Right there. Okay. We'll go ahead and look at number four. We have to realize that uh, I'm, I'm just calling this T1. I could call it anything, but I'm calling that T1. We have to realize the cable wraps all the way around, and so this tension there is the same tension there. So to hold up the four kilograms here, we have tension two. I remember pulley just changes direction of the tension. It does not change the value of it. Okay, down we would have the weight, which is M4 times G. We've already found that unintentionally. Four times 9.81 is 39.24, so I'll go ahead and write that there. Okay, uh, we'll look at the mass 3 next. In order for the mass 3 not to fall, it needs a tension upwards, and this is T1. But we also have the weight of this going downwards, which is mass 3 times G. And we, also, we also found what that was in the last problem. Just I don't didn't purposely choose these, but it helps us. This is 3 times 9.81 or 29.43. Now we'll look at the mass 2 here. Okay, Mass 2, in order for it not to fall, it needs to have the tension that this cable does, which is T2. And they are in opposite directions. If you were to trace them up here, they would be pointing towards each other. And they don't cancel out because they're not acting on the same mass. So T2 would be up. We would also have T1 down. Newton's third law said that, that these tensions need to be equal in magnitude and opposite in direction. So that's T1. What we have to remember, is that all? Okay, this had weight, this had weight, and so this also has to have weight. So it's getting a little busy in here. It's okay. That is M2 times G. That's 2 times 9.81, so that's 19.62 newtons. So we have T2 up, minus T1, minus 19.62. That's really the only difference in there. Okay, make sure we realize which way these are going. So I'll draw this out to save some space. Go ahead and start with the three kilogram first. Doesn't doesn't really matter which one you start with. I'm just that's how I did in class. Three kilograms is going down, so we remind ourselves it'll be m times negative a. Up minus down. Up is t1. Down minus minus 29.43. equals m times negative a, 3 times negative a, or negative 3a. And once again, like this one, we have enough. We're going to go ahead and push that over the other side by adding that. So t1 is 29.43 minus 3a. Oh, okay. Lights just went out. That's good. Uh, lights always go out in this room. On a timer. Okay, there's t1. We'll go ahead and leave it there as we can. Okay. Uh, that's not really important for us. The mu. Okay, next we're going to write the two kilogram one here. Try not to cover it with. Here, let me get up and turn the lights on real quick. There we go. Lights are on. I just waved my arms up in the air. There we go. M2 is two kilograms, and this is also going down, so we want to remind ourselves M times negative A. There we go. <coughs> like I said, this is why I always said up. Everything up is added, minus, 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 everything going down. So up, we have T2 
T2. I'm going to choose to do T1 first, so minus T1. And then also minus 19.62 because it's going down. And that equals M times negative A, 2 times negative A, or negative 2A. At this point, you're saying, well, should I move it over the other side? Or eventually we're going to move everything. I'll just keep it like that. If you want to do more rearranging, you can. I'm just going to keep it like that at that point because ultimately things are going to be substituted in there. The last thing we need to look at is M4, and we'll go ahead and kind of leave ourselves some room. This will be a little bit lengthy. M4 is 4 kilograms, and this one is going up. So it's M times positive A. Okay, T2 minus, or up minus down, so T2 minus force of gravity, which we calculate is 39.24, equals M times positive A, four, 4 times positive A, or just 4A. And we'll go ahead and add those over like we have in the past, 39.24 plus 4A. I forgot to do this. We Make sure when we write these, we want to put parentheses, 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 parentheses. Because once again, we're going to have to substitute, and we have some negatives in there that we're going to have to distribute for T1. So don't try to plug and distribute and solve it all at once. <coughs> You're opening yourself up for error. Okay, we'll plug in T2 first. 39.24 plus 4A that T2, minus the quantity T1, 29.43 minus 3A. Don't want to forget, we still have this 19.62, and so minus 19.62 equals negative 2A. <coughs> Once again, tracking, we want to distribute this negative. That negative makes that negative, or sorry, that positive makes that negative and that makes that positive. Everything, we move all our A's over to this side. So we have 4 plus 3, which is 7, plus 9 when this is moved over. That's 9A. And then basically everything that's negative needs to be added over, and everything that's positive needs to subtract it. So I'm going to add 19.62 over. I'm going to add 29.43, because remember it's negative here. And then because this is positive, I'm going to subtract it over. So minus 39.24. And we solve for that. We, uh, we do get 9.81. Uh, that is, this time it's a coincidence that we're getting this. It's just the problems that I picked, and I'll explain this uh, at the end of this video. Or we can take a, take a second right now. So 9.81 divided by 9 is 1.09 meters per second squared. I'm going to go ahead and uh, solve for the tensions now. So this A goes there, and that A goes there. And if we solve for T1, we should get 26.16 newtons. Let's check this one. Let's make Take. And then for this one down here, T2 is 43.6 newtons there. Now it's a little bit harder for us to kind of track here in terms of which way this is, in terms of the order of these, and we can discuss that a little bit later. I do want to talk about where this comes from here. This, this seems overly simplistic here, but if we look at where this comes from, this 9 is just the, the, all the masses added together. 3 plus 2 plus 4 is 9. And where does this 9.8 want to come from? This, excuse me, this is the total mass. This is the acceleration of the system. And this is the net force here. Okay, there's 5 on this side and 4 on this side. Overall, we have 1 on this side overall. That's 1 kilogram times 9.81. We get 9.81. Um, if we look at the one above it, just because of the sake of the masses that we used, here's, here's 4 plus 10 plus 3, which is 17. The difference between 4 and 3 is 1 here, 1 kilogram, 1 times 9.81 is 9.81. So had it been, uh, 
had it been other masses, this wouldn't have been 9.81, but you could have still fault, uh, found that. Now, you may be screaming at the, uh, at the video and saying, why did you make us go through all of that anyway? Because even if you solve this, you would still have to write the equations for the tensions in order to figure out the tensions here. So, uh, and this is also a confirmation. I checked with the AP physics teacher, and this is the uh, way to go because we need to find what those tensions are. If you just wanted to find the acceleration of the system, that's a way you can do it. And that's also basically a way you can check it here. It's like the total masses are 9. Um, and also, this is what it would look like assuming that there's no uh, angles or friction or anything like that. Excuse me. Um, let's see how long this is here. Oh, we'll go ahead and uh, call it at the end of this video. We'll look at uh, one more uh, on the back, and this will be a, a third video here. So I'll go ahead and call it here, and uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you can. I'm signing off.